it's experiment time. And today we are learning about high pitch and low pitch. So as you just uh, noticed in the video you just watched, low sends slower vibrations and you can try that on your throat like, oh, that is low, low pitch. On the other side, when the vibrations are very, very fast, then it creates a high pitch. And that could be something like, oh. Can you feel that in your throat? Well, we're gonna make an experiment and I hope you enjoy it loads. So, now that you have your materials ready, you're gonna start blowing on these pipes, straws, and you're gonna notice that there is no sound really. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna grab the straw with the pliers right here. Okay. Hope you can see it, it's a bit tricky. And then you need an adult. Please make sure you have an adult close to you because you're gonna need a lighter. So you're going to burn this bit. Wait, don't touch it. Just wait until it, it cools down. I don't know what's happening to my voice today. And then you're going to release it. Then you're going to notice that it will start making some sort of noise. But now I'm going to cut it a bit to check if it has the pitch that I want. Can you hear that? Okay, I'm going to do the same with the rest of the straws. Guys, I'm on the fifth one and I want to give you an advice. Be careful that you put the end of the straw outside of the plier. Hope you can see it there on my forehead. Yeah, because if you put more, then it will just melt and it won't work. And the second advice, wait until it cools down. Don't release it too soon or too quickly because then it will open again. And what we want to do is make it get closed, completely closed. In there, is it better? So keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing mine. So now I've finished. I have my eight straws completely closed on one side and I have this straw that is, as you can see, a bit shorter than the rest because I like this one. I like the pitch. So once you get one, make sure it's not too short. Once you get the right pitch on one, I want you to start, I want you to measure it and then you're going to measure the rest, but two centimeters less than the other one. Let me show you how to do this. So, mine is 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna measure the next one, two centimeters less. I'm gonna cut it in 18. So it will be right here. Mm, can you see 18 here? So I'm gonna cut it here. If you take away two centimeters, again, it will be 16, perfect. So the next one will be 16, then 14, then 12, and I think you got the idea, right? I'm gonna do mine. Guys, remember, you're gonna use the bit with the closed side. So you're gonna ha have to start measuring on the closed, closed side. Time to start on the other side because it won't work, it's like, the other way around. Okay, so pause me and off you go. Now that you have all of your all of your straws with two centimeters of difference between each other, I want you to put them in order. So I'm gonna start with the longest one, and then which one is that? I think it's this one. And you want them to be straight on the open side, like this, like flat. Okay. 
So I'm doing this because my camera is right there, but you can do it on a surface like your table. And then once you have them in the right order, remember you must, you must put them straight on the open side, okay? Once you have them in order, you can use a ruler to make them all be flat. Tin, tin, tin. Guys, pretend this is my table and there is no tape, okay? But what I want you to see is that, ooh, there, that I put them all straight on the open side. Can you see? Hope you can see there. Once you have them like this, in the right order, I want you to use some tape and stick it right here. I'm gonna use my tape. I'm gonna do this with you. Mm, move my camera a bit. There you go. So this is my tape and I'm gonna stick them like this. Mm -hmm. very important that you make sure they are all straight here. Fine? And once you have them like this, you have your pan flute ready. So you can start blowing, but I won't blow because I want you to find out what side is high pitch and what side is low pitch. And then, let me know in the next slide.